All right, so to create an automated script in Azure that would run a PowerShell script in Entra, uh, we're gonna need to create an automation account first. And type in automation account first in the Azure homepage. Sorry on the delay, I'm on my laptop. So you just click automation account. And then we'll create a new automation account. So you're going to choose your subscription. And then so choose your subscription and then select your resource group. So you're going to have to go to uh, type in resource groups up here and create one if you haven't already. I've already created one. Uh, the automation account name. So this will just be the account name that runs the script. It's a service account basically. Uh, script runner and choose your region. Select next. And then you can choose between system assigned or user assigned. Uh, system assigned basically ties the identity to the account, the, the automation account. Uh, user assigned creates like a separate managed identity that you will have to create your own credentials for and all that. So I'm doing system assigned since it's easier for this tutorial, but you're more than welcome to do user assigned. Uh, it's just out of scope for this tutorial. All right, when you get to the networking tab, uh, you're gonna have two options, public or private. Uh, public will just work over the public internet. I don't know if you wanna be doing that though in production, so you should select private. Uh, you're gonna have to create a private endpoint, which will require you to set up a VNet and then tie the endpoint to the VNet. But for this case, we will just do public access since this is just a demo uh, and not a tutorial on how to configure a private endpoint. Tags, I'm not gonna do that. That's just so you can find things when you search for them easier. And then I will select create. Okay, so we've created the automation account now. Um, we're gonna have to go down and give the managed identity permissions and enter ID, because we're gonna be running an automated script to remove users from a group at a specific time every day. Um, so you're going to want to come down to identity and we set this up in the configuration where we chose if we wanted to do system assigned or user assigned identity, uh, we chose system assigned. And so we need this object ID here. So we're going to copy that real quick. And you can think of a managed identity like a service account. So. We do have to give the account permissions to run PowerShell queries in Entra ID. So you can get back to Entra just by typing in Entra in the search bar here. And you select that, it'll bring you here. We wanna to go to roles and administrators to assign this managed identity the proper roles. So to run PowerShell scripts against Entra, we'll need to give them a reader, a directory reader role so they can read the directory. And we always wanna operate on those zero trust principles. So wanna give them the least amount of privilege that they need to do their job. And here's the directory reader role. So I'm just gonna click on that. Okay, as you see, I've been testing this already, but we're going to go ahead and add an assignment. And then that object ID that we grabbed from the automation account, we're gonna wanna throw in here. Azure's very slow today, okay. Script runner, that's what we created. It does create an enterprise app when you create a identity. So it ties the service account to uh, a registered application. So that's why it says enterprise app here. And we do want to make sure that we and our justification and remember with service accounts, they have to be actively assigned. They can't be eligible because they can't 
request access, so because they're automated. So test sign. Cool. So we got that. Now we're going to have to assign one more permission. And for testing purposes, they need to be a groups administrator. Test, sign, get back to our automation accounts, but I have that tab open already. So we're going to need to install a couple couple PowerShell modules um, because when you create an automation account and you're going to need to install the, the proper modules just like colon commit uh, modules from a repo like in PowerShell so you need az.accounts and it shows 5.1 My apologies, I have to add a module here. Browse from the gallery, click yes. And install this module. And you're gonna install modules based on your script. If you don't know what your script needs, you can look up on Microsoft Learn. They have a bunch of documentation on what commands are in what modules. For my specific uh, script, I have the az.accounts and az.resources modules that I need to run my script. Okay, so that's importing. And I know that az.resources is a dependency on az.accounts, so I'll pause here and wait for that to import. So yeah, after you've installed the proper uh, PowerShell modules to run your custom script and you have given the managed identity the proper role in Entra, you can now create a run book. And just give it a name, test script, PowerShell 5.1, test. Review and create. Done. Cool. So that's created. It's going to bring us to that object right now. And we can paste our code in here, which I have in Notepad. So, yeah, these are the commands that we need to call to delete. users from a group. We can just paste that in here. And if everything goes correctly, we should be able to go to the test pane and click start and it will begin testing the script. So I'm going to start the test. And if everything goes all right, we just gotta wait. This usually takes about a minute or two. Uh, we should see the users removed from this group. Okay, so the script is completed and these users should now be removed. And they are. Uh, so if we wanted to create a little bit of automation on this where it runs at a specific time, we just wanna schedule a task to run. So now if we want to schedule this uh, to run on a daily task, we just need to publish it after we've obviously completed the testing and it's ran with no issues. We're going to create a schedule, add a schedule. Add a schedule there. Test, let's say we want it to run every day at 5 p.m. Um, every day. OK. 
create. Okay, let's jump back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go to the overview page of the runbook. There's the test that we just created. And then we're good. And I will show you an example of what a completed runbook that has a scheduled task looks like. So if we go to the overview, we can see all the different times that the task has run. And here are all the times it's ran. And that's it.